Hello there guys, FMU here on the FM Scout channel. Today I'm going to do a quick little tutorial showing you how to use Smart Shirt Designer 2. This enables you to make uh, kits for Football Manager uh, that will show up in the 2D screen, you know, in like your club information screen. Obviously this doesn't put the shirts onto the 3D match engine, that must, that's important. Don't expect to see them in there because you won't. This is for the 2D uh, versions that you see all around the game. Now, this is for people who don't have Photoshop. I will be doing a Photoshop tutorial uh, a little bit later on, uh, maybe this week or in the month or something like that. But today, this is for those who don't have Photoshop. So first things first, you need to download the Smart Shirt Designer 2 from FM Scout. Try saying that when you're drunk. Um, and it is a fantastic little tool. I've never really used it before because I'm lucky enough to be able to use Photoshop. I have a copy of Photoshop, so I've been able to do that way. But I thought I'd have a look at this because I saw a few people talk about it. And uh, obviously, because I work on FM Scout, I thought I'm going to give it a bash and have a look at it. And it is a very, very good tool for, uh, for people to make the kits. So first of all, obviously, you need to download it, like I say. Uh, you can hit the link that should pop up on the screen any second now uh, and you can download it now pause the video download it or you can go to the description down below and download it at the end of the video completely up to you okay so once it's downloaded you will get um obviously the little thing you can uh, the little sort of download tab at the bottom of the corner and you'll need something like jzip winrar whatever you you use to open up zip files extract all the files to your desktop um, if they go on separately they just make a little folder chuck them all in the folder together and then what we'll do is is we'll open up smart shirt designer 2 and uh, we'll just have to wait for it to go through its usual little loading process there is quite a lot for it to load it's uh, it's not an extensively massive package but it's got a lot of stuff in there it's very impressive the amount of shirts that they've managed to get in there and um you know, I was very surprised. I didn't think there'd be that many shirts. I didn't know what to expect when I loaded it up, but it is very, very well done. So this is it here. This is your shirt designer page. What we need to do first is we need to choose the style of shirt. Okay, so you click on it there, and if you hover over these shirts, you can see that's Adidas 1. Uh, and you can go through, and there's literally hundreds to go through to look at you know you take your time choose the ones that you want but for today we're just going to go with a very simple one like this okay now you're thinking it's not showing up there don't panic first things first i want to add my crest and my sponsor uh, logo i'm not going to do i'll leave that to you guys you can play around with that but uh, i've downloaded the png logo for crew alexandra's crest and their sponsors i'm a crew fan so i thought screw it let's do a little away kit for crew so i've downloaded them to my desktop so just click browse find them wherever you've downloaded them to double click on it it'll pop it in there so the crest is in there then just rinse and repeat for the sponsor okay so they're both there and then if you do the logo there you go then you can click align okay and it's going to do a rough drawing of your kit so far okay so there we are you can't move the kit maker on it which is fine by me i don't really need to but you know if say the um the uh, you know the emblem was in the middle you could pop the badge underneath it just there but we're going to leave it there for now okay so with the badge we're just going to make it a little bit smaller uh, and then maneuver it into a position we feel is about right which is about there as for the sponsor i'm going to make the sponsor a little bit bigger and just move it up a bit and the important the good thing is you know if you want it up here but you're not sure where the middle is just pop it there and it'll center it for you easy peasy lemon squeezy so that is what we've got so far obviously like i say it's just a rough sketch at the moment don't think my goodness the outline's terrible it's fine don't panic what we need to do now is hit draw and it's going to give us an idea so when we, we go over here and look at the kits and start changing the colors we'll know roughly where we're changing the colors for okay so now we've got the kit popped up here we've hit draw it's brought the kit up found abadozi now we know what colors here relate to what's on there so what we need to do now is decide what colors we want to change i want to keep white as the main one in the middle okay i don't want to change any of that but I do want to change this one 
and I want to bring it over here and then I'm going to bring this down to I don't know about there and then we can add that color to the custom colors here so there it is there hit OK now it won't change it yet because we've not hit draw so I want to change the blue around the bottom to the same color OK and if we hit draw Okay, he's going to now update it for us so we can have a little look at it now that it's updated so we've got those colors on there that's fine next I want to do the collar and I think it would make the most sense to do that with that color and then sort of the inner line let's do black and then hit you know draw just so we can have a little look at it see what it looks like and I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. And then with the branding, which is the uh, logo, I don't want to change that from that color. It's fine. You know, I'm happy with that color. So there we have it. That's that done. Okay, so there you go. Now, if you want to design the back of a shirt, then you have to change the color. You clip this to highlight it, change the color. But the thing is, there's no point in doing the back of the shirt because if you did it now, it would just overlap what is already there so we're not going to worry about that but you guys can play around with that as and when you wish so next thing we want to do now is get it to the right size and it's always kind of advised if uh, if you're putting it into the game to do this one here obviously fm 160 160 so just hit draw so it draws it out for us again okay and then there we have it and then we can have a look at the different lighting modes so we had a originally this is b which that looks quite nice i quite like b it adds all of the creases and stuff in i quite like b um we'll go with b you guys can you know you guys can have a little look at your own pace can't you, you can have a play around do whatever you wish so next up if we export it to the desktop and for now we'll just call it crew underscore a okay and save it that should as <laughs> fingers crossed he says live tv and all that there it is it is saved to the desktop so next what we need to do is is we need to put it into the game so what I'm going to do, I'm going to load FM up and load it up so that we get the player IDs up uh, and squad IDs up and stuff like that so we know exactly where we're going and I'll be right back with you. Okay then, so you can see here, look, the uh, crew ID is 641, okay? So that's 641. So what we need to do is open up your graphics folder go to your kits presumably you've downloaded some kits already which if you haven't i suggest you do so because you're going to need to use the config file which is here so just click on it once with the left click and then right click on it and open with notepad okay and it'll open up all of this so what i do is is highlight the bottom row uh, Control and c to copy and then come down to the next row control and v to paste and then what we're going to do there is just put a in there and crew in there because we called the file uh, crew underscore a okay and then here where this number is we need to change this to 641 and then because it's the away kit change this here to away file save okay so that's simply done crew underscore a to graphics picture team 641 which is cruise and then away because it's the away kit we want to change we've saved it that's that go to our desktop and grab the kit that we want to use actually we need to rename it because it's all underscore when we write it in the thing so why won't you See if it'll when we move it over it should be okay yeah it's underscore there so we're fine so it's now in there 
Okay, so what we need to do now is go to preferences, okay, interface. Um, we can turn that off now because we don't need it. Clear the cache, okay, and reload the skin. And there you have it, guys. We've reloaded the skin, cleared the cache, and uh, or cleared the cache, reloaded the skin. And it's popped up there in the away kits. So we have a nice away kit. We could do the home kit next. We could go through, do as many kits as we wanted, change as many things as we want, and have a play around with it. Hopefully this has been helpful to you guys who don't have Photoshop. This is a free, cheap, easy way to do it. And the, the results are fine. You can see the kits look great in there. They look no different to any other teams. For, for instance, that is the crew kit. Obviously, maybe could have done with making the sponsor a bit bigger um but hey ho but that is oh that's the crew kit using this free download okay so look at the quality of the kit there and that is the kits that i've done in photoshop there isn't much difference between that away kit and that away kit in terms of quality and stuff the badge could have done with being a bit smaller maybe and the uh, sponsor a bit bigger or maybe if the sponsor was a bit bigger it'd have even the badge out who knows but guys it's a very good easy way to do it so in the comments down below let us know if you're using this if you've used it or if you use it because of this tutorial and let us know how you get on with creating your kits and putting them into the game as always guys we're here because of our love for football manager and we love hearing from you down in the comments so please remember to do so also, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow us on Twitter. All the links that you need are down below in the description. And for now, guys, it's been a pleasure being in your face. Bye-bye.